When it comes to putting a drawer together, you really want to take your time and do it right because, because that drawer is being opened and closed on a daily basis and it receives more stress than anything else in your cabinets. So I'm going to point out a couple features that these cabinets offer. I think you're going to be really impressed. Um, pick up a good wood glue. You don't have to use it, but it does, it does help and it makes a difference, especially when you're putting your joints together. Uh, it lubricates them, it goes in a little smoother, and then of course once it dries, you just got a better product. So we start with our drawer face, the most critical part. Uh, because you see it. So we want to work on a surface that's clean, doesn't have any debris, so we can lay it down without worrying about getting it scratched. And to start with, we're going to use a little glue and we're going to run in the joint just a little bit in each one of the sections for the dovetail. And a little bit goes a long ways. You don't have to soak it down. Just a drop just a drop in each area, and just a small bead along there, and you're going to be fine. As you can see, the sides are already milled out. There's a reason for this. You can also see this is milled out. All this millwork has got to line up, and you'll see why here in just a moment. So we're going to start with this side. You need a rubber mallet because you don't want to beat your nice wood cabinet drawer with a solid hammer and damage it. So you just give it a nice little tap. You don't have to, you can see I didn't hit it super, super hard. All you're trying to do is line that joint up where everything is nice and flush right here. Once you have this side done, once again, line up this groove with the existing groove. As you can see, it's lined up. And you can see the grooves all line up. You're going to see why that's so critical here in just a moment. At this point, we need to put our bottom in. There's two sides to it, a nice finished clean side and a raw unfinished side. So make sure, make sure you put the nice finished side up because that's what you want to see once you assemble. I normally just at this point run just a couple drops of glue, let it just fall down there. Nice little bead of glue, just let it just let it run down that channel for just a moment. While that's doing that, we take our back. We want to put a little bit of glue here and put just a drop in each one of the areas. Like I said, don't go crazy with the glue. There is a, such a thing as too much. The beautiful part about these cabinets is you don't even have to do this, but this is just one extra step. We lay it right down in the channel, line up the edges, you may be able to push them in there just a little bit with your hand, but you'll need the hammer to just tap it in. tell you why it's so important. If this is not flush and it protrudes out a little bit, it's going to affect the way this drawer fits inside the cabinet and potentially your drawer body may not open and close correctly. So it is critical. It must be flush everywhere. And when you tap here, sometimes this comes out. So just check everything. Also, you can lay it down on the surface like this where it doesn't give Give it just a little bit of tap. Flip it over. Okay, great. At this point, I'm going to show you something neat about these cabinets. 
you'll take a look here, you're going to see a pre-drilled hole, and it's drilled out a little bit on each side. But what this is for is to secure this drawer one step further. So you've already got the dovetail. Now we want to take it a step further. Take a one-inch screw. We're going to seat it down inside there, like so. Do that on each side for the rear. Now, as you can see, you seat it down to where it's nice and flush. What we have now done is we've got the dovetail joints, which is nice and secure. It's glued. Now, a third method is we fasten it with a screw. So, this is as good as it gets. This is nice and strong. Once the glue sets up, this drawer is good to go for many, 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 many years. Now I want to point out this. We've got the back secured. Also, we've got an area to put a screw through these, these joints. So I'm going to do that now with the same one-inch screws. And just get it flush. If you try to screw it too hard, you're going to split that wood. So you don't want to go crazy, it's just a, it's just a fasten. So at this point, we've got a really solid drawer box, and we're ready for our next step. The next step is to mount our hardware. You can see that the millwork is already completed, so all we have to do is align our hardware into the drawer. So at this point, we simply lay it there, and it lays right in that groove. That's our left side. We take our right side. Remember the wheels are always at the rear of the drawer. It lays just in there. We take our small screws. I recommend getting a small little tray so you can keep up with your screws and not lose them. Make sure it's flush all the way and down. Just snug it. You don't have to go crazy with it. Normally I set about three screws in it, but it, you can use more if you feel like you need to. Once that's done, you've got a finished drawer box that's ready to go into your cabinet. For this application, you're going to have a few parts to complete the internal installation of your drawer body. You may have a plastic piece like so. This is the rear mounting bracket for your hardware. So I'm going to take a second to show you about that. You're going to notice a couple little small holes. The one that's most important is this one. It's hollowed out quite a bit, and you're going to see why that's so important. You can also notice inside your cabinet, you're going to see some different holes that are pre-drilled at the top and bottom. What those at the bottom are for is if you ever want to install a rollout tray, that application will accept it and you can easily put your rollout tray in it. But for right now, we just want to get the drawer completed. For this application, in order to line up everything with the frame, this is actually going to go on the two inside holes. So you just get it get it in there like so. You take a small screw. And you set it in that one hole. You don't have to go crazy. Just snug it up a little bit. Do that for each side. Make sure it's flush in there really good. Once that's secure, you're going to have a left side and a right side. It should be self-evident that the left side has the metal in order for you to fasten it to the frame. You also find a small pre-drilled hole inside the frame. 
So you're going to line up the, the hole there. You're going to use your small flathead style screw. Once it's lined up, Snug it up because you don't want to go crazy and crack your wood frame. Then we'll install the other side. The same way. Walk around there. Snug that right up. At this point, it should be nice and secure, and it's ready to accept your drawer body. We take our pre-made drawer that we took our time and and put together. Just go in at a little bit of an angle, raise it up, and there we go. Just like that.